Okay, I've just unboxed my Kirito Sworded Online Nendoroid by Good Smile and my CC Code Geass uh, Chibi Arts by Bandai. I'm going to compare the two because some people swear by one or the other, so I'm going to kind of see uh, what I think of them both because I've never had uh, these, these particular figures before. I have a figure arts and a couple figures by Bandai, but I've never specifically had these ones. So, first of all, the packaging. Uh, very similar. Uh, the uh, Nendoroid packaging is a little bit bigger, uh, it has nicer colors, I like the layout a little bit better, but the Chibi Arts one is very nice, uh, smaller so it would save you on shipping, so I guess that's a bonus in its own. Uh, as far as the figures go, first opinion, I prefer the Nendoroid um, because it's a lot more poseable. You can move the legs. You can swivel them in and out, you can move them back and forth, you can switch the arms around, you can switch the swords, you can switch the hands within the arms, uh, you can uh, switch the accessories on the back, which is his sheath. Uh, you can see here all the accessories that it comes with. Um, it even comes with a little potion bottle, and a nice detail about the sheath is that the tops of the swords uh, pops out, so if you have Kirito holding both of those swords, you can have the sheath empty so it doesn't look like he has four swords. Uh, the face plates are very nice for the Nendoroid. Very clean paint. Uh, they're light. You know, they clip on pretty easily. They stay put. I uh, can't really ask much of that other than you know, a nice paint and quality. Uh, so, and he's nice and light overall. Uh, very easy to move, very easy to pose. The base is pretty basic, it just kind of clips on uh, and you can move it a little bit. Has the Sword Art Online copyright information. Uh, it's very generic, not very pretty, but it does the job, so it's better than nothing. Uh, the little rabbit is adorable. The little yummy delicious rabbit. And it's a nice accessory, it was a nice touch to have. Uh, now when you move over to the Chibi Arts, uh, it's quite heavy and she's in a sitting position so her legs you can't pose at all which is kind of disappointing because to me if you're gonna go with a figure that's posable you might as well go all the way uh, because I'd like to be able to customize the figure's pose a lot and if I can't do that I'd rather just have a really beautiful solid cast. But it's still very nice, and you can move the arms, and you can swap the arms out. I'll show you the accessories here. Uh, so there's a few different arm options. So you can have her holding the pizza, which it comes with the little pizza box and the pizza. And you can swap the cat's head, which is nice to be Zero's helmet. Uh, very cute touch. I, li I like the personality with the chibi arts, definitely. They kind of go for the silly feel. At least that's the vibe I get from this particular figure. It also comes with these little speech bubbles that have their own stand so I could kind of pop it behind her so that she's saying mysterious squiggly marks to me because I have no idea what they are but it's a cute touch. Uh, I'm not too crazy about the weight because she's heavy and the seam lines. Uh, if you look you can kind of see where the connection is for the mold on her legs and I'm not too crazy about that. It's not really noticeable but enough so that I spotted it right away. Uh, I do love the stand, however, if you look here, I'll lift her up so you can see, the stand is completely custom to her, you know, it's got her, the proper colors to match, it has the logo, it has the name, it has the character's name, uh, and it looks nice, uh, it's solid, it looks like a cute little base, sorry kitty, I squashed your head. Uh, the back is pretty comparable to the Nendoroid, kind of yucky, but that's okay, you can't really see it. And she does not sit well without this. Uh, even though she's in a sitting position, she kind of topples over if you even just touch her a little bit. So you do definitely need to have her hooked up to have her on display. Same with an android, though. He wouldn't stand at all without the base. Um, there's a little kitty. See how cute he is. Again, the paint is very comparable. Very nice quality. See little details in the face. Oh, this kitty's just getting beat up. Uh, here's the face, one of the face plates for her. See, qualities are the same. Again, the face plate's a lot heavier. Uh, the plastics, you know, not quite as as light as the one on the Nendoroid, which I definitely prefer less weight. Uh, but they're both nice, and they both do the job. Um, 
I think that's about everything. Overall, I definitely prefer the Nandroid. Uh, I prefer the customizability to the pose. I mean, if you're going to go poseable, might as well go all the way. I'm not a big fan of this kind of in-between area. Uh, but they're both equal quality, and they both come with great accessories. The Nandroid definitely comes with more accessories, and they're comparable in price. She's about $45, I think, if you're going to order her online. Uh, same goes for Kirito. However, I got CC on sale for about $20, including shipping. Uh, so for that price, she's fantastic. I'm not quite sure I'd pay full price for her. And uh, Kirito I got on sale from Crunchyroll for the deal of the day for about $30. So that was a fantastic deal. And, you know, I'm willing to pay full price for the Dendroids because I really like that you can fully customize them and kind of be a little bit goofy with them. Uh, the, the stands, though, definitely aren't as nice as the Shibby Arts. So basically, overall, very, very comparable. It's a personal choice. I don't think one in particular has more quality. I just think they kind of go in different directions. But personally, I prefer the Nendoroid for the accessories and posability. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!